Dime Dropper fam, what's going on? Vlog number two of the season and a special one indeed. Victor Wembanyama's first road game as an NBA player right here against my Clippers. I'm going to be obviously in my section 207. Let's see how the energy differs from opening night. It was amazing opening night. And this is going to be an extra buzz in the building. Going to have a lot of fanboys and Laker fans probably coming to watch Wemby, acting like they've been Spurs fans since David Robinson was there. So maybe a little annoying, got to drown him out. Main thing is the players got to respond from that Utah game. Went live to talk about it last night. Narrow defeat. Great teams don't lose two games in a row, especially against teams they're supposed to beat. I've watched both Spurs games. I haven't talked about them on the podcast yet or on the channel. But let's just say this. We should beat them. And I'm still not too moved by Wemby one-on-one -on -one in terms of, yeah, like legit just one-on-one, -on -one, getting by guys and all that. He can shoot over the top. But if you put, like Grant Williams and Jabari Smith were, if you put guys like how Grant Williams and Jabari Smith were on him, like Kawhi, like Paul, get underneath him, make him only beat you with jump shots and try to beat you off the bounce, I'm taking my chances. As long as he's not in the paint getting easy baskets, that's what I don't want. And, of course, transition defense is going to be big. One thing they've looked to get him involved with is when he contests shots on the perimeter, he's rim running and sealing and going all the way, and they're throwing it to him, and it's not much you can do. So we got to keep him out of transition. But overall, Kawhi and Paul should be aggressive. If Sohan is guarding Kawhi, who's guarding PG? Expect him to be very aggressive as he started out the season, so far backing up his bully shit talk. And, of course, Russell Westbrook, only four shot attempts last game. Let's see him be a bit more aggressive in this one. And in today's vlog, I'm going to show you my game day routine. I've developed a routine these last couple years of what I do when I go to games, especially with a little bit of time to spare. So I'm going to show you my routine today. Cue the music. Let's go, Clippers. Let's get this dub. Last time I saw San Antonio was the last game under the Staples Center name at this arena, and it was a terrible Clipper performance. We got smacked. Cue the music. High fly ball into right field. She is gone. If you don't get a shot away, they'll talk about it the rest of your life. Magic fires for three. Got it. Magic hit a three-pointer. The Lakers win. Go back for the win. Thank you. The first win. Garoppolo under pressure. This is for you, Kings fans, wherever you may be. All the frustration and disappointment of the past is gone. The 45-year drought is over. The Los Angeles Kings are indeed the Kings of the National Hockey League. They are the 2012 Stanley Cup champions. They said wear, wear white today for 207. I got the Steve Ballmer Hope shirt on. Shout out to my man Ernie from Clipset and the black jacket. So it's my Clipset clip fit today. Shout out to Shea, the original clip fit queen. So this is the lot that I park in every single time, right across the street from the pantry over there. And the reason why I do it is because it's almost always $10 or $20. And it's a straight line shot to the Staples Center. $20. A straight shot to the stable center. I always go through Star Plaza entrance because it's just the best, duh, all the statues. Got the magnet schedule, we'll take that. And here we are, here I am. I'll take that fucking drink and that chicken now, baby. In my opinion, Staples Center food has declined, but Pluto Bird is my go-to. Right next to the escalator, the chicken is fire, and the spicy Ludo sauce is fire. The line is really big. If you come 20 minutes till the game. If you got it, if you come 30 or, or earlier, no line. While I wait for my food, I turn my attention to what is one of my favorite new additions of Staples Center. Yes, where that ultra thing is.
Just like that? Okay. Oh. Now that I got my drink and my chicken, look at that shit. Fire. Now we go to our seat. The button from Gonzaga, the 23 sack colors. And one four seven three from France. Number one, Victor Wendanyama. And we have a four six five out of Kentucky. Extra perfect start for the boys. All over the place defensively. Clamping Wemby, Rocco guarding him in the switching. All towards with three steals already. And some dunks. And as always, on our feet the whole time. Bench lineup in right now for the Clips. Spurs showed a little zone. Shoot. Wemby up top. Oh, good cut. Oh, Wemby oh. oh. Wemby Ball the Spurs. Oh, nice. And this zoom is crazy. Oh, 
fumble! Ah, uh, Jenny. Let's give it up for the boys. Let's go, Clippers! Let's go, Clippers! Alright fellas, Clippers up 19 at half. Aaron, thoughts? Uh, well, our perimeter defense looks really good. Paul George like five steals in the first six minutes, so I'm happy about that. I agree with you. The perimeter D looks good. Gotta keep up the intensity. Bench, I, I'm a little annoyed, I feel like, when, when Kawhi and PG are out, the bench can't really fucking score, but... <laughs> thoughts on Wemby so far? Clamping him. They're clamping him, but he's fun to, it's fun to see him in LA. Patoom knows his game too much. That's true, oh, yeah. But Toom's a Wemby yeah. stopper. And it is He's his dad. Heritage night, so go for two. Cl Clippers going to take this one? Yeah, yeah, I think like they don't even break nine. Thank you, fellas. Yes, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, Anthony, we up big at the half. Yes, we How are. How we feeling? Yes, we're feeling good. How are we feeling, Carter? We're feeling good? You got to be louder. I don't have my mics today. Oh, yes, we're feeling good. How are we feeling? We're feeling good. All right. Thoughts, we thoughts on Wemby so far? I... I am amazed that a man that big has a crossover, is able to shoot from the outside. It, it's ridiculous. And he, he contests shots that you wouldn't even expect someone to contest. I literally brought her just so that she could see a human being like that exists. But she didn't need... We taking this one home? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Especially especially since the rest of the, it's it's an eighth grader Wemby with a bunch of third graders playing with him and nobody wants to pass him the ball because he's not in their grade. Standout performer, last question. For me, PG. PG. What's up, bro? All right, here with my man Raj. You might remember him from the Lakers Nuggets Western Conference Finals for you. Now meeting him in person. Thoughts on the Clippers so far in that half as a Laker fan, outsider perspective? It looks solid, man. I think they're too good for the Spurs. The Spurs obviously can't keep up with their offense. Uh, they don't have many creators to stop them. Kawhi and PG make things really tough. And the scouting so far on Wemby, right, is to be physical. And the Clippers have guys that do that. They started off with Covington on him, which I thought made it tough. They're trapping him. And there's no one really on the Spurs that you have to worry about. Sohan's not a shooter. They're going under a lot of their ball screens. So the Clippers should take advantage. And they're the much better team. So. so Thoughts on Wemby, that's the reason you're here. Yeah, I think, you know, I saw him in Summer League. He looks like, he looks a little stronger now. He looks like he's put on a bit of muscle. I think the ball handling won't really be there until he gets that physicality under his belt. But you see some of the generational stuff, right? They can just throw it up to the top and he tips balls away. He contests you when he's in the paint, he's able to close out, stuff yeah. like that. That's the stuff that's absurd to me that he'll figure out the other stuff. This year for the Spurs is just about him getting a feel for NBA physicality. Getting him, getting him a feel for NBA defenses, how they close out on him, but he's just an insane prospect that I've never seen before. So, shout out my guy Dime. I'm a Laker fan. That's how I know. That's how you know. That's my guy. That I'm on a Clippers channel here, but uh, yeah, it's cool to come out and, and see you guys. All right, Rick. Halftime. Clippers by 19. How are we feeling about it? We're doing great. What can we say? I mean, can't get too ahead of ourselves because you know we're playing. We're going. We're playing the San Antonio Spurs, and we're doing good. What are we gonna do against against the Lakers? How about that? <laughs> How about Wemby so far? We're shutting him down. He's quiet. He's having a quiet game. What more can we ask for? Player of the game for you so far? Uh, I'll give it to. I gotta give it to maybe uh, PG13. PG13. Appreciate you, bro. We, we taking this one home? Yes, definitely. No letdown. All right, here with one of my loyal, loyal Dime Jumper fans, Uzair Khan, always in the chat. Thoughts on the game so far? Up 20. I am enjoying what PG's doing. Kawhi is actually driving to the rim finally compared to the last two games. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I came here for my birthday, so yeah. Is that your birthday? Tomorrow. Uh, happy, happy early birthday. Yeah. Now let me ask you, what do you think of Wemby so far? Everybody's in the building for him. Thoughts? So one of my friends, he hates on Wemby because he's a Czech guy. And today, Wemby looks fraudulent, so I'm texting him throughout the game like, hey, this Wemby guy is not that great. But so far, his height is incredible. He's not doing anything crazy like he did in the Rockets game, but I hopefully he shows some flash and yeah, he's going to be here for a while. Clippers taking this one home? Of course. Let's see my boy. All right, Sheila, always, always one of the loudest in the building. How are we feeling right now? Up 20 or 19? Woo! We got to keep it up. 
Keep it up. Uh, who's been the standout performer for you for us? Uh, Paul George. Can we get a defense, Sheila style? Defense! Well, <laughs> charge number three, Kelvin Absolute Johnson. Absolute domination station, 30 piece. Just like Portland, Kawhi cannot miss a three. He's got 18, three, and four. Westbrook with 14, seven, three. And how about PG cooking? Zoo. That'll be a double double for Zoo. Ah, uh, 12 and 8 for Zoo right now. Defense! Section 207, how we feeling? Pretty good, man. It was very exciting. Uh, came in this game expecting they'd lock Kawhi up, but everybody stepped up. You know what I mean? Even if it wasn't showing on, you know, the, the scoreboard points-wise, everybody was playing their role and felt pretty good. It was lock and key. Who was your uh, standout performer for us? Um, standout is tough because everybody was kind of on an even keel. You know what I mean? PG was doing what he was supposed to do. Kawhi was doing his thing, making all his threes. Bones was stepping up. Everybody was good, but you know, personally, it, it felt good to see Roko, you know, step up and do his thing, play his role. Um, I'm not sure how many points he scored, but you know, a lot of his impact was showing on the floor, especially being there watching the whole game in real time. How about uh, Wemby? Everybody came to see him play. He got Man. shut down. What was the key? What was the key to stopping Wemby? Overrated. Nah, I'm playing. I'm not gonna be a hater. Um, he's getting warmed up. It was good to see him on his first road game in his career. You know, it felt, you know, pretty, you know, monumental or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just stuffing him felt nice. You know what I mean? Seeing him get all those turnovers felt good. You know, it just kind of shows the impact we have as a team on somebody that's like a massive player. That's supposed to be a big deal. Orlando on Tuesday. We make it a three in a row? Oh, 100%. All right, Clippers winning by 40. Rob, undefeated in the fan section. How are we feeling? Man, this is the second fan section game we've had at home. Both have been blowouts. Today we won by 40. Like, when was the last time we won by 40? That was insane. Uh, wonderful game. Hats off to everyone. Super fun energy in there. Great time. So two games now, we've gotten the other team to wave the white flag. Last season, it was us that constantly was waving the white flag. What's really been the difference for you this season so far? Man, I don't want to say it's like our amazing section and like all the good energy, but the one game we were away, we kind of struggled and both home games were, you know, blowouts. So I think the crowd energy is feeling good this season compared to others. Um, and in general, uh, Paul George playing amazing in every game. Like he, every game. he wasn't lying about being a bully. Yeah. So, I mean, that helps, you know, Kawhi is like amazing from three all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. So, uh, 
I don't know. We're all putting it together. Any thoughts on Wemby tonight? Everybody came to see him. He got completely shut down. Man. What do we do so well defensively? Man, uh, he is kind of a turnover machine, honestly, uh, in his first couple games. He had, like, I think five today. It seemed like it. Um, yeah, he he's a big guy. I mean, uh, he, uh, his handle, he's just so tall. Like, I feel like he'll get stolen sometimes. But, uh, you know, he's got good promise. But, you know, we shut him down today. So, I'll, I'll take it. Orlando on Tuesday? Oh, dude, for sure, man. I'll see you there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Outside the Staples Center at Tom's where the Clippers have just beaten the Spurs like a drum. I am so proud of the guys. Another home game where we had the defensive intensity and seriousness that we advertised in training camp. Two games we've done it. Two games we've blown the brakes off of the two bottom teams in the West that I predicted before the season. Wembe, what was Wemby tonight? Where was he? I tweeted this morning, Rudy Gobert with a handle. No, I'm just kidding. But... He wasn't prepared for the physicality tonight. How about Rocco? Zero points, but his defense told the whole story. Kawhi Leonard starting out the season scorching from deep. Paul George, three games in, three bullies shown in each game. It doesn't get better. It all starts in the defensive end. We know how good this team can be defensively. Norm was better defensively. Zoo was better. Finally, we got, just like the first game, good Zubots. How about Westbrook? Three threes, energy fantastic. Great start to the season for him for the most part. And then how about Busy? Another really solid game from him. 18 points. You gotta love that. It doesn't get better. Two games in at home, we are have the other team waving the white flag. I've talked about it all last season. We were the one that kept waving the white flag. Now we're load managing properly by having our starters rest in the fourth twice to begin the season. I absolutely love it. Let's see how long we can go undefeated at home. We haven't started out a season 2-0 at home since 2020. I would love that we can build a really good home record this year because it feels like a while since we've had one. 2-0 since Section 207 has been introduced. I think we know the real X Factor. Clipper Nation, we up again. 2-1 and one. on to Orlando on Tuesday on Halloween. I'll be there and the freaks will come out at night. <laughs> oh my God. I got to stop while I'm ahead. Go Clippers.